so we are building view 3 and uh, yesterday we saw all the categories are here now we have to add the uh, videos under each category to look like this uh, page so we'll build that today So I will go to the view three and I will try to copy the same thing what we did it here. We already copied the CSS. Now just we have to copy the script. So let's go to the So let's go to the view3.js. We already copied view3 CSS. And we already got all the categories. And under each category, we have the videos, which we can see by cat videos. So let's see what are the cat videos are. So in the cat videos, we got each category and all the videos of categories with categories are here under that uh, category section. So we have the category here, displaying category. Now I'll display the, I will display the video inside under each categories so let's say i will create one component and i will name that component as items and i will be passing the video as items to that component and that items will be nothing but at videos and I will take the category ID. So category ID will be this key. This key is a category ID. So I'll pass the category ID and I will pass the name uh, as a key for the category. And I'll also pass all the props I will see which props I need. I will pass all the props also. To this component. Let's create this component. And I will see how to build that component. In some time. So I will create one. Component. I will name the component as items. Render console.log props in items are insert props and I will return this tag right now I'll just pass items Oh, no, if this page refresh, items are coming here, and you'll we'll see what is going inside each items. We are getting videos inside the items. This is the videos. The video details are there. I get list ID. I get name. I also get data. This is coming from this dot props. I'm getting the data for the list, the, the list which I'm using it. Now, let's try to build the video using these items. So if you go and remember our test.j, I have this constructor, which I will copy in the view three in the items. 
this is the options ending and this is the state ending this is the constructor ending i will first create the constructor with some options from previous one and here i will check if items are not there then return it so i will say if not this dot props dot items are there so items are the videos and if we don't have i will return null If you see in the test one dot js, we have items created like this. Similarly, we will create items here. So I will say let items is equal to an empty array, and then I will go inside each of these props items. I'll say let i in props items. So we will see what is inside this props items. Let's see that one. So we have items. Inside items, we have the key and then we have the details. So I will take wall equal to i'll create a variable wall equal to this dot props dot items and i will put the i so this uh, whole details this whole details will be nothing but inside the wall now i will also construct the detail url one and detail url will be This dot props dot list underscore ID. We are also getting we are also getting list ID. So I will go to this dot props dot list ID plus detail. This is the detail URL. So I will go to detail slash plus wall dot underscore ID. So we have under each item. We have this ID, which is a video ID. So I'll say wall dot underscore ID. Here I will write the code because this is something which we are doing the list ID, which is not default. So we are constructing the URL like this. But if the, there's a default list, then we need to skip this part and we need to just say this part. So to get the default list, I might have written in the action. So in the action, we have this default list. So I can import that default list here. I will say import default list from my flix action dot js. Also, I will import few files like carousel here inside it okay now i'll go down so now i have the default list so i will check i will check here if default list is not equal to if equal to equal to this list which is coming if both are same that means the current list is the default list and then i don't need this uh, i don't need this part i need only this part so i will say url is equal to slash detail underscore id so if it is a default list i will create a url like this otherwise my url is like this and I will put items dot push, and I will just try to put whatever I have created in the test one. This is the div tag which I need. I will put it here. I will push it here. So in the key, I will get the i, and I will put the i here. This title is fine.
this uh, title is fine this title uh, media this is the title media let's wrap it with the a tag a class name equal to title i will create this uh, maybe I, I may need to give some extra class for this one so i'll create type uh, title Now we have this class name tile here. Okay. Instead of uh, instead of creating a tag, I can rename this div tag with the a tag, and I'll close that with the a tag. And here I will say h reference equal to URL, the URL which we have this URL, and uh, Target is equal to underscore blank so that it should open in the new video, no new window. I have title media, then I have title image, then I have the source of the image. So this image URL will be nothing but uh, uh, it's nothing but. this one video thumbnail so i can say it is wall dot video thumbnail and alt i can say as video title so i'll say wall dot video title okay and then here also there is a this seventh as a text i will also replace it with wall dot video title so the details is fine title is fine okay so i pushed all the div tag items and now i have to display this item here so how to display it i will go here in the test one and i will take this kind of part my container and i will put it here so the my container part will come here. so we have the class name previous on click this is fine and also i'm passing in the items as a name i'm passing the name this name will go here instead of list one it will go as a name so it will be this dot list this dot box dot name and this one will be also coming here in the reference so i will say this dot reference and instead of list one i will put this dot props dot name dot previous same thing i will do it the next one because this name is reference to this dot props name so we are changing it here also this options is fine center element is fine reference is fine options is fine instead of this items i will be putting items only which i created here i put the items here this is the right element is fine and I'll save it. So once I save it, all the movies come as a dynamic. So I can see all the movies which I put in this category. Whatever I put in this category, I can see it here. whatever i put it here in this category i can see it here i don't want to display all the categories where we don't have movies so let's try to let's try to remove those i don't need them so yeah it looks nice really nice
So let's try to remove these categories which don't have videos. So I can see in the cat videos, I have empty object. So I will go here. So I will check, uh, I will do first do console.log. So I want to see object dot keys of this one. What is coming is this. So let's see what is the object dot keys coming. So object dot keys is uh, empty array or maybe I can say dot length. So we are getting here length is two, length is 20 B. So wherever we are getting zero, we don't want to show the categories. So we can say if length is equal to equal to zero, return null. I return null if length is zero. So now I am able to only see the categories which have the videos. Otherwise I am not displaying that categories. Also this uh, categories is too much tied on the left side. So I will put give some CSS to this. Okay, margin left equal to 20 pixel. So this category is going on the little bit right side. Video is fine, it starts with here and need the space. So this is going fine, this is going fine. So remember this thing, I, I put all the videos for that category, so it may create some performance issue. So later on, I will change that to, later on, I will change it to optimize it a little bit more. Right now, I'm putting all the videos, but uh, soon in few days, once we launch it, uh, we will try to optimize it uh, more as per we see the things. If I go to my list, let's have you list this one. So this is about homeopathy. I can see the videos. Let's see another list. This is Reiki. Let's see acupuncture list. I don't have anything in this one. Or oh, songs, this is a songs. So whenever you want to share this thing, you will take this URL or I will also give the share on the Facebook and you can share with someone like this URL and then whole site right, is whatever he has created. He can choose that views and do that one. Here also in the view too, it goes to left side too much. Let's fix that also. So let's just delete this one. So this one is going search is going too much on the left side. So maybe I can create a div class name equal to container. And I will oh, I created container so it will move a little bit here, so it move here. So 
So if I see So only thing is if I change the theme, this still is a white, I don't need this white. So let's see what is giving the white color. So this background color is giving the white. Okay, let's move this one. Still I'm getting background color. Okay, yeah, so I don't want the background color white. So I should remove the background color of white in the result container <coughs> so where is that results container okay so this is the results container and this background color i don't need it i should take the background color from the from the back uh, from the theme okay i have background color this one okay let's see in the view one again i will put comment on this one Now I am not getting background color. Let's see in the view. Okay, now also I am getting background color based on the theme. Okay, now it looks good. Let's add one more view in the in the my lab multi. I will add one more view. So let's add view as a default view. So I will name it as three. So this is the default view. I can go to main page also. It looks like this default view. And if I click this, it goes to the new page with different detail page and I can. So this one was about this one. So. Let's go further now to complete this. Complete this. I need to. I already have the delete list. Let's see. Delete list works fine. Okay. Delete list is working fine. Delete video is also working fine. Let's see. I want to delete some video. Okay. This video is not working. So delete it. Also, I will be uh, now. I'll go to category. I I don't want to edit it. Edit is not required kind of thing. Let's only use the delete one. And if someone wants to edit it, he can delete it and recreate the category, whatever name he wants. So let's try to delete the categories.
So I will go to the categories page. First thing which I will do, I need edit part. So let's remove the edit part. Okay. And uh, I created a delete model. So let's call this delete model here. I'll call this delete model here. I will import delete model from common delete model dot js. I will also import uh, I will also import this default list, which also we may need it. Okay, now we have category, category error, category ID, subcategory, and I will create few more variables. One will be the delete model. Initially, it will be false. I will have delete category. It will be null. I will create another one for subcategory, sub model equal to false, and I will create also one delete subcategory, it will be null. So I created these four values for deleting the things because I want to give confirmation and then I want to delete it. So let's create. Let's create two functions. One is called the close category. When I call close category, I will set the state delete model equal to false. And I'll set delete category equal to null. These two variables I will set. And I can also close the subcategory. Here I have to say delete submodel and subcategory. I will also create two functions. One is called delete category record. I'll pass the record in it. And also I'll create delete category record. I'll pass the code in it. I'll just say console.log record to be deleted is record. And here I'll say subcategory be deleted is record. Here I'll say category. To be, I'll check what is coming in the record and I will delete it appropriately. So let's go down and create a delete link. So first thing I will be creating is delete this part. So here I will create a a tag h reference equal to on click equal to And I will close the A tag. So on click, I will say E dot prevent default. This dot set state. So here I will make delete model equal to true. And I will say delete category equal to whatever we get in the loop. That is the value. We are setting this two variables when I click the delete button. And here after table, I will create the delete model. So this model, this model I have to create. So I'll say if we have this dot state dot delete model, then I call and I will create this model. 
and same thing i will do it for if i have a sub model for the sub category i call the lit model and here i will pass few parameters so what are the parameters to be passed so for example we will get uh, here we need the message so i will pass a message equal to so since i'm deleting the category so i will be i will be putting sub category name so this uh, this part we will do tomorrow delete model part let's see how it looks now okay there is some on line number 181 okay let's see here i'm okay here it should be e and it should be like this okay, my flex action is not cannot be resolved categories page categories should be getting the myflex action directly so it should be direct and this common is fine okay so right now it will not work because we have not finished the delete part So we will work on delete part. After we are done with the delete, we have add videos also. And so first phase of this MyFlex will be done. We will go live and we'll try to, we will add one more Facebook link so that user can share this list on the Facebook. And then we'll go live. And after a few days, maybe after three, four weeks, we will come back and we'll try to see what things we can optimize it let uh, people put the videos and see it online and we'll see what things are missing in the project which we will build it is that okay so tomorrow we will go live in this myflix.info